You reap what you sow. Do not be deceived, God cannot be mocked, a man reaps what he sows. Whoever sows to please their sinful flesh, from the flesh will reap destruction. Whoever sows to please the Spirit, from the Spirit will reap eternal life. Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Galatians 6, 7-9 Jane I don't think this marriage is working. It's been 15 years now we, we have been married with no child. Not even a single child. I am not getting younger. I need a child to take over all my inheritance. I am taking another wife since you can't bear me children. What? What do you mean? Are you trying to say I am the reason for our childlessness? I need a child too you know? How can you just make such decisions without considering how I feel? You want to take another wife? You know I will definitely not accept that. I won't let you bring in another woman into this house. We can adopt a child instead. No way. I cannot have an adopted child as mine. I need my own child. A child from my own loins. I have gone for several checkups and I am very much sound. So that is why I have decided to marry again. Or do you prefer I just go out there and get a baby mama? The doctor said I am okay too. It might just be some hormonal issues. We can still wait and trust in God's timing or adopt a child. No member of my family ever adopted a child. I can't be the first. My mind was made up already. I already found someone. I have already made plans. I can't put up with a second woman in this house. If you are bringing in someone else, the I am leaving. If you want to leave then fine. You are even making it easy for me. After all these years with you, this is how you are going to treat me? It's well. Honey this is my house. You are welcome feel very free and feel at home. I will give you anything you need all I want you to do is bear me children. I promise you few weeks from now I will surprise you. I know right? That is why I married you, you and very young and you stand a great chance of having very strong and beautiful babies. It's been four years since Mary and I got married and we have no child yet. Each time she gets pregnant two weeks later she miscarried. I really do not know what is happening. It is obvious that both she and I are okay. Even the doctors can't tell what exactly the problem is. I am just confused. This is quite strange. You have been married twice in the past 19 years and there is still no news. Why don't you just adopt the child? Depending on you can have your own and if you don't fine. Legally adopt a child or children. About adoption, you know Jane said the same thing too, but I refused. She said we could adopt instead of me marrying another wife. If I had known maybe I should have adopted a child then. Speaking of your ex-wife Jane, my sister told me she is now remarried and recently she had a baby girl. Really? You know after we divorced our parts has never crossed again. You really mean she is now a mother of her own child? I asked the same question too and I was told that she birthed the child. It's obvious she wasn't the cause of the childlessness then. But it is not my fault either because the doctors confer I very okay. It is beginning to feel like this is spiritual, maybe you should tackle it spiritually too. What do you think? I think you are very right, I have never thought of it. Maybe someone cast a spell on me. As we were speaking I got a ministration that you are the cause of your childlessness. There is something you did in the past that is coming after your future. Pastor what do you mean? I have not done anything to deserve that punishment. Just relax and think about it, you will remember. As a young growing man there might have even something you did that God frowned at and you are paying the price now. Was there anyone you offended and in return the person said some bad curses to you? Oh I think I remember something now. 22 years ago, I was still schooling abroad, I was only 23 years old. Baby we have been together for 3 years now and you still have refused to let me touch you. I thought you said you love me and can do anything to prove your love for me. Sure. 
I love you very much and you know it. Then why don't you want me to touch you? Let's do what other couples do. What people in love do. That is the only way I can be sure that you love me. You know that soon we will be graduating. How am I sure that you won't leave me when we graduate? I love you, and I promise you that I will not leave you for anyone else. Please just give me some time. I am scared what if something goes wrong. Nothing will go wrong, and even if it does, I promise to stand by you no matter what. I will never leave you alone. It's a promise. To confirm your love for me before we graduate, let's do what lovers do. Please. Okay, if doing that will seal our love then I will do to prove my love for you. Nelson, I am pregnant. What? Pregnant? But how? What do you mean by how? Have you forgotten what we did? But it was just once. How can it even be possible? What do you mean? You are the only man I have known. Anyways. So what is your plan? What will you do about it? You mean what do we do? I don't know what to do. I am so worried. I think I might have to tell my mom. No, you can't do that. You can't let anyone know about this. Why? I know what we can do. You have to get rid of it. Are you kidding me? Why would you suggest that? That is so wrong. It is a sin and can be dangerous too. Let's just tell our parents about it. I said we can't tell anyone. Look this is my final year in school I can't father a child yet. I don't have a job or any source of income. And if my parents find out about this they will disown me. I can't jeopardize my future like that. You have to get rid of it. Nelson but this was not what you promised. You said you were going to stand by me no matter what. How can you easily put my life in danger? What if something goes wrong in the process? I thought you said you love me. I told you I didn't want to do it but you convinced me onto it and now you are acting like it's all my fault. But it is your fault, you should have done something about it before. You are not a baby. Have a great future ahead of me and I won't let anything or person jeopardize it. If you still want me in your life then you should get rid of it, else just forget that I ever existed. So what happened to Lizzie? She tried getting rid of the pregnancy and on the process there were complications that affected her womb she was confirmed not to ever be able to have a baby again. And I obviously couldn't be with a woman who can't bear children so after I graduated I left and never went back. I cut all ties with her and changed all my contacts. She was never able to reach me again till date. Nelson you made a very big mistake. I am very sure that even God is still angry with you. You put a young lady in the family way, deceived her into getting rid of it and abandoned her when thing went wrong. You are obviously reaping what you sow. You are getting the punishment for your sins. There is reward for every deed good or bad. Now that you have confessed, first thing you have to do now is sincerely ask God for forgiveness and be sure never to do such again. Then secondly you have to go look for Lizzie and apologize to her for treating her that ways. She also paid the price for what she did too. But you also owe her an apology, and then maybe God can help you get what you need. Nelson went looking for Lizzie and apologized to her. He was forgiven but was never able to have a child of his own. At last his wife and him decided to adopt a child. In this life, we must all be careful of our actions and how we treat people because in the end, you reap what you sow. Thank you for watching, please support the channel by hitting on the subscribe button below, like and share our videos, leave a comment, and remember to turn on notifications to this channel. God bless you.